Hello everyone! So, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to set up the, the Haritora X Wireless, the uh, full body tracking system. There are a lot of things that are cool about this, and there are other things that are a little bit more awkward to deal with when you're first setting up. So first off, getting stuff out of the box. Obviously, you're going to need to have everything fully charged. That takes roughly about an hour. After that, more or less you're good to go outside of a couple of things. That being that you're going to need a Bluetooth dongle. I'll link one in the description, but you're going to need a Bluetooth dongle to be able to connect to your computer and stuff. Um, the one that I'm going to recommend is the TP-Link Wireless 500 dongle, I believe. It's really good for getting the trackers working. Then, of course, you've got to attach all of the trackers to the, the straps. Then you've got to download the app for the trackers. But then things get a little bit crazy because you have to then figure out how to work the trackers properly. Otherwise, you can be sat messing around for, I think, about two to three hours. I've been at this already trying to get these babies working. And honestly... Even though it's a little bit jank still at the moment because I need to sort more things out, I'm happy with the results so far. So, what you need to do is, once the stuff has been charged, you've got the app. You go into the first part of the app, and at the very top of it, it'll ask you to download the drivers for SteamVR. Do this because then it will allow you to obviously connect to SteamVR and allow you to use this stuff. After that, for calibrating each one of the um, the trackers and getting them to be even found by the program, what you're going to need to do is go to the link that I provide, which is basically for setting up everything. And what you do is using either Edge or Chrome, I think is recommended. I just use Edge for the sake of it, just because I have Firefox and it wouldn't work on Firefox. But by going on like Edge or Chrome, you'll then be able to go into the firmware for all of the trackers and update them because that needs to be done to really help them be found by the system a lot better. So what you do is you go on the website, you go to each one of the trackers. I advise that you do this one at a time. So ideally what you do is you put all six of them, if you've got six, um, you put all six of them on a desk, you take the first one and move it over here, turn it on, and then when it's turned on, you click on the website and click purr. It'll then eventually come up with a pop-up window that says, would you like to purr? You click on the one that it is, and then click purr. After that, then you go down to the next option where it says update firmware. It will then ask you which one is it. You click on the same one again and click purr. And what it does is it transfers the firmware after a little while into the actual box. And then you just do the same thing another five times. So after doing all of that and all of that being fixed up, then it's mostly done. The thing is, you want to then calibrate everything. Now, I was messing this up loads and my model ended up looking like a scrunched up ball for ages. And the reason for that primarily is because I was going about the calibration wrong Sometimes, with a lot of this stuff, the English instructions almost get you there, but they say things in either the wrong order, or sometimes, even though the English is correct, it takes you in a roundabout way, which gets you kind of confused. So the best way to go about this is, when you're trying to calibrate, you click on the menu to find all of the trackers. If you can't find any, turn your Bluetooth off and then try finding the trackers. I know it sounds really weird, but it does work. I don't know how. Um, I tried turning it on and off again a little bit, and I eventually found all of the trackers after updating all of the firmware. Then what I did was, um, when you come to calibrate, you click the calibration window, and it tells you to stand still like this, and it tells you eventually after 10 seconds it will go off automatically. I was under the assumption at this point that that automatically calibrated stuff and all you had to do was stand like this for 10 seconds. But no, that's not the case. You uh, click on the window for calibrate. It comes up with a window and says it'll either go off in 10 seconds or you press the next button. Press the next button, then stand still to be able to calibrate everything. And then it'll calibrate. Then you hit next again and pick a different pose, which is squatting. 
and then you hold that for about five seconds and then eventually it just goes, ta-da, you've been calibrated. And then after that, you're all done. You are all done and ready to go. And it's just a case of logging into your favorite game that uses FBT and seeing whether it works. Uh, it's been a long process trying to get this done, obviously. And a lot of other people have had trouble with this. This probably will require an update in future on me to comment on things just to help people out. But I hope this helps get people in faster, especially because there are more people getting the Haritora now that are having similar problems to me. So I thought I would just do this video to help out. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy your new legs. So yeah, anyway, bye!